So when Connolly had this completely demolished, they used all of the stone in the construction of the Hellfire Club, and you can see it's actually quite rough and coarse stone and so. Um, that's where the folklore really begins with the Hellfire Club, because they say a demon was so enraged by the desecration of the tomb that he blew off the original roof. The original roof was all slate uh, and wood, and they had to rebuild it in this big barrel vault that gives it its unique appearance now. Right. And what they would have been was large mounds with a passageway lined by stone leading into a stone lined chamber and that's where they generally put cremated remains, human cremated remains. Cremated remains. More often than not it would be cremated remains. Sometimes you get unburnt skeletons but most of the time it's cremated human bones. If we can find any bit of bone, any bit of charcoal from a prehistoric layer that we can get a radiocarbon date from, that we can find out exactly how old this tomb is and that would tell us precisely because of all the tombs in the Dublin and Wicklow Mountains the last ones to be excavated were excavated in the 1920s so they weren't they didn't have the modern techniques that we have but we found some other pretty cool stuff which dates back to the 1850s a beautiful clay pipe with a, an eagle claw or a dragon claw after this was built in about 1725 William Connolly died in 1729 he only lived another four years and his wife left it um, pretty much uh, abandoned for a number of years and then it was rented at least by the Earl of Ross who was a guy called Richard Parsons he was a bit of a character should we say he had a habit of um, meeting his guests completely in the nude um, heavily into drink and lots of other you know rowdy behavior should we say um, he was part of a group known as the Hellfire Club sometimes they're called the Blasters sometimes the Young Bucks of Dublin and they were all into drink they were they were called by Jonathan Swift a contemporary of those a brace of monsters backing, al backing aliens and blasphemers because they used to do things like black masses to summon the devil and all of this kind of thing because it was more not so much that they believed passionately in, in summoning ancient spirits but this was like uh, what we call at the time the age of enlightenment this is when uh, science was really beginning to take over so for them church didn't matter anymore and they were doing that almost to spite the church. They used to drink in a place called the Eagle Tavern down on Cork Street in Dublin. It no longer exists anymore. But uh, they they basically broke apart when the Earl of Ross, who was one of their chief leaders, he basically drank himself to death at a fairly young age. And the Earl of Santry, um, who was a very powerful man, he was another member, and he killed a servant because he was annoyed with him. He stabbed him. He was arrested. He was facing charges. And, uh, you know, the charges were pretty strict. They could have been facing hanging, but his family controlled the water supply into Dublin. And if they were going to hang him, they cut off the water for the whole city. So they had to basically release him and send him into exile. So these guys, you know, they were pretty rough and ready. For example, they were drinking once in Dublin, I think. Um, and they were up in, you know, the, th the three-story Georgian houses around Marriott Square and things yeah, like that. Yeah. They were drinking and playing cards. One of them was caught cheating. They threw him out a window. He impaled him. He was impaled on the railings below. They carried on drinking and playing cards like nothing had happened. Like, these guys were rough. You know, so anything that a ghost or a devil could do, these fellas were already doing it in the flesh. There's a Bible in one of the rooms. This place, uh, what's interesting about this place is it continues to hold uh, a story for lots of different stories for lots of different types of people. That you have the one that they were playing cards in there, somebody dropped a card and looked under the table and they saw that one of the players had a cloven hoof disappeared through the roof. There is something about the building. It is indeed, it is very kind of, it does hold an atmosphere to it 